Hi, this is Alan from Final Web. I want to preview and demonstrate for you a new tool that we are releasing very shortly. This is a new way for you to edit the content on your website and to manage images as well as other files that you might upload. You'll remember that if you want to edit or add a record, a lot of times it would take you to a new website and then you'd have to actually navigate through two or three different pages to edit everything on the record, uh, uploading images, editing text fields. And we've created a way for you to edit all that information in one view right here from your website. I'm looking at my default page of a test site. It's a dynamic page and I want to edit this section. So I'm going to hover over this button. You see there it's the edit section button. And when I click it, it just displays a modal view right here over top of the website. I can select the top left image option, which I, is the one that I want. In the text editor here, I've got the content. And then below is the actual image that I have specified for the certain place on the web page. I've got a few tools here as well. I can actually edit the image. I can resize it here with this slider, make it larger or make it smaller. And then after I get it resized the way I want, I can select the crop option. And then with the cursor, select just part of it. This image doesn't do a good job of displaying it because it's a little smaller. So I'm going to select a different one from the server here. And it'll just pop right into place. And there we have a new image. I'm just going to go straight to the crop after I resize. And I've got uh, the option here actually to even specify specific width and height. So I've got this checkbox selected that it will constrain the proportions. And I want to change it, let's say, to 200 pixels wide. And then when I select the next box, it'll automatically choose the right value. I'll click resize and there it goes. And then when I go to crop, I can put the cursor in here and change the selection to what I want. Click save changes and it will take me to the loading screen and then it'll automatically refresh the page and there is the image that I just edited. I'll scroll down here a little bit more and I've got another section here on this dynamic page and this is an audio download library. I'll just show you a little bit of what it looks like in the edit record here for this entry for an audio file. Again the modal view displays and I've got an actual player here uh, that will help me preview the file. So I could click play there and it would actually play the file that I have selected. I could select something else from the, from the server or I could upload a new file and it comes up with a new box right here and I could go select an audio file and it would put it right in. On these records also we have an option for a podcast image and I've got one selected there and I'm going to go ahead and do another resize uh, just so you can see what happens and then I'll save the changes and it'll refresh the page and it's edited. Adding information is also easy as well so I can add a new file here as well and I can either upload from the server or do a new file. I'll just do the server and I'll just do another one right here. Put in a title. And then I could fill in other information if I want and save the changes. And it refreshes and it's displayed there as well. So that's just a preview of what uh, we've done and there's a lot more that I could show you but time doesn't allow. We'll be putting out more videos in the next few weeks and days to demonstrate some of the some of the other features and we hope this is helpful. If you have any questions on it feel free to send us a support email uh, using our support queue system or give us a call on our support line. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.